Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tristina and I post mommy and lifestyle videos three times a week for you guys, sometimes more, sometimes less. Today's video is gonna be a clean with me after Halloween for you guys. So my house got pretty messy on Halloween and not too bad because I was able to keep it like clean throughout the day like when Brayden napped and stuff. But here's a little overview of what it looked like before I started cleaning. And little disclaimer, I actually ended up waiting to clean until the morning because I thought I was going to be going to bed nice and early, but then I ended up laying in bed and was up until like 1am, just couldn't fall asleep anyway, so I should have just done it last night. Today's video is in collab with Courtney Allison. When I got my house, I was like, I need to do a collab with Courtney because she's who I always watch when I clean. So for any cleaning inspiration, definitely check out her channel. She also posts mommy and lifestyle videos as well, but she is very well known for her cleaning videos. So make sure you check out her channel. I will post her link right here on the screen and down in the description box below. And now that I just talked your guys' ears off for a minute straight, cause that's just my life, let's get into the cleaning. So to start off, I was just putting away my dishes that have been sitting in the dishwasher for a good two days straight. Solid. And then I started to fill my dishwasher again and as I started to put a few things in I was like you know what let's just hand wash these babies so that way I don't have any dishes until tonight when I have to make dinner. At this point I started cleaning up my counters. Floyd does a really good job at leaving his coffee mess all over every single morning so I started to clean up that and our messes from last night and then I just wiped everything down. And during this whole entire video I'm just using Mrs. Meyer's all purpose spray and the apple cider scent. I clean my oven a little differently, about two to three times a week. Rather than just spraying it down, I'll take a sponge and wet it, and then I use a barkeeper's friend, and I put that all over the spots that have like any, you know, stuck food or whatever it is, burntness, I don't know. I put that on there and let it sit for about a minute, and then I'll go back in with the sponge and scrub the crap out of it until all of those little stains are gone. And then I just respray it again with the all-purpose spray to make it nice and shiny. Those days are gone. 
kitchen was finally done which was like a hallelujah because that was the worst room of the house so now I moved on to the dining room which really I just needed to wipe down the table braid inside was especially messy because we made a bunch of different things for Halloween and did different crafts so I wiped down the chairs on his side as well because he is a messy boy and climbed you know back and forth from chairs Shaking but not stirred Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn In your own Halloween coloring book and crayons that he got from the Great Pumpkin. I will have a video linked on that right here as well. Um, but I left that out so that way when he woke up he had something to do while I made breakfast and everything. I also find myself having to clean the walls very often. <laughs> Brayden's handprints get all over them. I used to think I wanted this nice white farmhouse kitchen but after dealing with these light walls and Brayden's hands I'm kind of thinking otherwise. into the living room and just start spraying down the coffee tables and end tables in there. I have to fix my pillows for about the 120th time a day. I always, you know, always wonder why and then I see my dogs doing things like this or my son and ugh. Long story short, I have a love-hate relationship for throw pillows. I decided to do a quick wipe down of the door as well just because Brayden was helping me with the trick-or-treaters and stuff last night and again his hands were just kind of everywhere.
When I'm done scrubbing everything is when I go back through and do the floors. So I'm just gonna go through the whole house and sweep every room. If you ever plan on getting a husky, be fully aware that you're going to be living with about 10 pounds of fur everywhere you go. Like, you're going to leave your house and you're going to have 10 pounds of fur. You're going to be sitting on your couch and you're going to be covered in 10 pounds of fur. I literally have to get my hands and knees and go underneath our table and get my dog Everly's fur off of the felt things and the chairs every other day. And I get like a disgusting amount of hair every single time. It's ridiculous. The very last thing I did this day was go through and mop all the floors from us coming in and out. They were like extra gross after Halloween. The kitchen and the bathroom are a pain in the butt to do. I didn't show the bathroom at all in this video, but they're a pain in the butt to do because these white floors, they might look nice, but I have to go through with a magic eraser every single time I mop. And that's how I get like all the actual stains off of the floor. It's a literally a, such a pain in the butt. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me. I'm still like pretty new at them. <laughs> so um, if you guys have any tips on like anything that you'd like to see be clean or anything like that, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely get to them because I haven't done like any clean with me videos. Thank you so much to Courtney for collabing with me and make sure you check out her channel. Subscribe to her and watch her video as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and press that subscribe button so you can become part of the family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!